hey guys what's up what's new it's your girl star and i'm back again with another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you so so very much so ramadan in a church muslim invite christians to their own church to share um islam to, to share um about islam what islam is about right without further ado let's dive right in <laughs> Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I start in the name of God, the most beneficent and the most merciful, and welcome and greet all of you with the Islamic greeting of Assalamu Alaikum. You may be wondering what is that Arabic phrase? That Arabic phrase translates into peace of God be upon you. And I, and I always say one of the commonalities that we have between the Muslims and the Christians is that we say that even Jesus, who we consider as a prophet, he used to greet his disciples with the greeting of peace be upon you. This is documented in the New Testament, Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse number 19 and verse number 21. So Brother Mushtaba gave a brief intro about why we are here and thanking the Creator and thanking all of you. What I would like to do is briefly mention over the essence of Ramadan. Because many of you, you may be thinking, okay, Muslims are fasting for 30 days or 29 days. Uh, you know, just they're fasting. That's all that some of you may know, but you may not know the reason, the higher dimension, uh, why we fast. So Brother Mushtaba, he, re he recited one passage from the Quran, chapter two, verse number 183. So the very first important point is, that passage says that all, so God is speaking to all the Muslims and God is saying, that all oh, you who believe, fasting has been given to you, prescribed to you, as it was given to those before you. And then the passage continues. I will come to that inshallah. So the first reason we are fasting is because it's an obligation. It's one of the five pillars of Islam. Usually if I have more time, I will ask you what are the other pillars. <laughs> we don't have that much time. I will just mention to you the other pillars. The very first pillar is to recite the testimony of faith to say that there is, I bear witness, there is only one God, Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So to proclaim it is the very first pillar of Islam. The second pillar of Islam is that we do something five times a day. What do you think that is? We pray five times. Our fourth prayer is going to come right after sunset. The third pillar of Islam is to give charity, obligatory charity to the poor, the needy, and people who are less fortunate. The fourth pillar is what we are doing in this month, which is fasting, the whole month. And the fifth pillar is to go once in a life, at least, for pilgrimage. So where do you think Muslims go for pilgrimage? Uh, Hawaii, Paris, <laughs> no? <laughs> Mecca, right? We go for Mecca. I have been there, awesome feeling. So, that's the first reason that we fast. The second reason is, as I mentioned, the prophets of the past, they also used to fast. So we say that Jesus and Moses and Abraham, peace be upon all of them and many more prophets, they all used to fast. What is, what is my evidence for it? Of course the Quran says it, we believe in it. Even the Old Testament says in the book of Exodus, chapter 34, verse number 28, that Moses was in the state of fasting when he received the Ten Commandments. Yes, 40 days of fasting. 
Jesus was in a state of fasting for 40 days or so. It says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse number 2. So we say we are also following the footsteps of these mighty messengers and these mighty humans. The third reason or the third important aspect, the essence of uh, fasting is this. You know, if you ask me this question and you were asked, what's your name? Wendy. Sister Wendy was asking, okay, how is it fasting all day? Let me add to it, right? Let me add to it. For me, it is easier to fast from the water and the dates and the food and the drinks. That is easy, easier. But fasting is not only fasting away from the food and the water. It's fasting from all the wrong things you're not supposed to be doing anyway. Yes, lying and backbiting and cheating and breaking promises and you know, being bad to neighbors and disrespecting parents. We are supposed to put them away for the whole month in such a way that they are away for the rest of our lives. Like cutting people off on the highways, right? <laughs> I came from Skokie, by the way, right? People were just really bad drivers all over the place nowadays. That's number three. Number four is, fasting is to inculcate all the good things we are supposed to be doing. Respecting and obeying parents, be good to neighbors, uh, charity, being a best student, helping humanity, all the good things we are supposed to be doing, we should be so conscious that they, will, they should become part of our lives, for the rest of our lives. That's number four. Number five is this. You know, all throughout our lives, we just take the blessings and the food for granted. We can open the refrigerator, have so many choices. We can drive up, have so many restaurants and fast food. We just take God's blessing, God's blessings just for granted. But once we are staying away from it the whole day, 16 or so hours, now when we a, yeah, start breaking the fast with the dead fruit, it is like, you know, fruit from paradise, <laughs> right? So, so we become more thankful servants to the mighty creator. That's number five. Number six would be this. You know, if I say to you that there is a girl in Syria and she is like really hungry, I can describe her hunger, you may have some empathy for her. But if I show her image to you that she's really hungry going like this, you can have your yeah, empathy may increase. However, when we put ourselves in her shoes, if she has shoes, right? If we put ourselves in her shoes, we can actually feel the hunger that she's going through. So by fasting, we can feel what poor people, millions and billions of them all over the world, what they go through. So it should help us to reach out to them, to open our hearts, our minds, our wallets. So we become better takers of the less needy around us. All right, and number seven is this. The last one, number seven is this. There are so many medical benefits of fasting. Muslims, we don't fast for the medical benefits, but we fast because we want to please the creator. But it so happens that there are so humongous health and biological and medical benefits. What are they? First and foremost, uh, fasting helps a person to control their blood sugar. That's one of them, right? Many journals, many articles, many scholarly articles have been written for that. Secondly, if a person has high cholesterol, the LDL, the LDL decreases and the HDL, the good cholesterol, it increases in fasting, right? And many a times we have so many toxins because of all the processed food. When we are fasting, they are, we are letting them go. So our body is like, you know, purifying, it's charging uh, spiritually, medically, biologically, psychologically. So if we incorporate all of these seven things, we say that the 30 days, 29 days of fasting, this is a spiritual boot camp for us. <laughs> After the 29 to 30 days, a Muslim should be so much transformed that they should become better humans, better family members, better spouses and better children, and better worshiper of the Creator. So that is the higher, greater purpose of fasting, and that is the essence of Ramadan. Thank you very much. Thank you. So what we will do is, what time is uh, the? 7.30. 7.30, right? So by this time, not only we are not, uh, counting minutes, we are counting seconds, right? <laughs> At this time, what we will do is, we will just uh, take a break, 
we want everyone here to just to connect with the creator, just do supplication for themselves, families, and all of humanity. Uh, then at uh, 7.33, uh, we can break the fast with the date fruit. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to break the fast with the date fruit and used to eat the date fruit in the morning when we start the fasting. So with that, we can supplicate. May God guide and bless all of you. Thanks for coming. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. Allah. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. I bear witness, no other God besides Allah. I bear witness, no other God besides Allah. I bear witness, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to prayer. Come to prayer. Come to your success. Come to your success. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no other God besides one God, Allah. So after the call for prayer, then we send peace and blessings on Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and yes, other prophets also. So go ahead and enjoy. Uh, Muslims are going to go there in one of the rooms and do our fourth prayer of the day. Wow, that was really amazing, guys. <clears throat> so he was talking about the pillars. I think there are seven pillars of Islam, right? Mostly throughout Ramadan, right? And it is so amazing that these um, Christians, these non-Muslims, they come, right, to learn, to learn um, about Islam, right? Expe um, especially um, on, this, on this special day of Ramadan, right? These um, 30 days of fasting. Wow, wow, this is really amazing. And you can tell that they were really comfortable right they they sat right there and they listened to everything right they were not bored or anything but they did listen right and these are the the seven pillars that he was talking about right so the first thing he was talking about was how muslim greet each other right assalamu alaikum which mean may the peace of god be upon you right so the first pillar is the testimony of faith which is to say that you be a witness that there is only one god and that is allah so that would be the first pillar pillar of um islam right the second one would be and so the second pillar would of islam would be praying which you know that muslims do five times a day right they pray five times every day which is um which is a wonderful thing because it brings us closer to god to have a spiritual connection with god right so this is just so amazing guys which is um to give charity right to the poor to those that are in need which i find very very um, kind which I find very very awesome guys because there are so many that is in need right now right that is in need of food shelter that is homeless right now whether children or the adults right and many persons would say go get a job but it's not easy in these countries right some some of us we have it so easy 
we have it so easy we have the technology we have the food we have the money we have a work we have a good home how a roof or a proper roof over our head we drive a car right we drive multiple we have multiple cars right the, we have so much um in our homes wonderful technology wonderful um electronics right while most of this person they don't have food they don't know what they're gonna eat um for tonight for tomorrow and it it really breaks my heart when you think about it though guys it really really break my heart while many persons out there they are throwing away food right now while someone is dying of hunger it is really sad can you really can you really and truly imagine that food is being wasted somewhere right now while someone is dying of hunger a child right a baby a mother a father a brother a sister it is just so life is so unfair i used to say life is so unfair guys what i realized is people are the ones that are unfair instead of throwing it away why don't you donate it right clothes why why throw it away or why sell it when you have money why not just donate it to someone that is in need this is what he's talking about charity the third pillar of islam while the ter while the fourth pillar of islam is ramadan which is fasting for 30 days 29 to 30 days right and fasting you know we go without food right we, all we have to do, um, not just go without food, but we pray while we go without food. Because what, sen what sense does it make to go hungry, to starve, and not pray? That would that is not fast. That is not fasting. That is not Ramadan. That is just starvation. <laughs> so while you not eat food, you have to pray, right? Yeah, that's the fourth pillar of Islam, also, guys. And the fifth pillar of islam is to at least once in your life um go for pil um pil pil pilgrim right which is at mecca right i would love to go there one day guys honestly what is your experience as a muslim going there is it different um going to mecca than um in a mass or is it the same thing just something different somewhere different what is it like as a muslim though guys i even liked when he mentioned that fasting during ramadan right um this help us to deal with bad habits biting um being malicious being jealous lying cheating this help us um while we we pray and while we have ramadan this help us to cut that out but not just cut it out for one month but to help us to cut it out for the end our entire life right to get rid of it to live upright right to live a holy life a pleasing life to god an acceptable life to god right and so this is why we should fast this is why we should um be a part of ramadan right as a muslim right so this is really amazing guys so this is why Ramadan is um why Ramadan is really important to Muslim guys. It help it help them improve their lives. Um mostly not just um spiritually but physically because it helps um with toxic in our body, right? It helps with our cholesterol, with the things that we eat, it helps with our um blood sugar, it helps with our um whosoever have pressure, it helps right it helps so it is good when we fast and, and not just fast but also pray right fast and pray and this is where ramadan is important right and it gives us a greater connection with god right through fasting through um fasting and prayer this is how we connect with god have a spirit, spiritual connection with god right so to god be the glory great things he has done this was a wonderful and amazing video guys and i'm sure that the guests um they all enjoy enjoy themselves and they do learn a lot right about islam today so anyway guys we come to the end of another reaction video if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much let love lead the way guys I wish I had a time you turn me on like a light switch